Hi, this is Omar again. Thanks for supporting my last video since I got many likes and views. I decided to make a video each Friday. Anyway, so I'm going to be explaining to you how to add three fractions and also how to reduce fractions. First, I'm going to be starting with how to reduce fractions. So the first thing we start with is looking for a number that can go into the numerator and the denominator. So three can go into itself one time and three can go into six two times. So therefore our an final answer will be one over two or one half. For the second question, you do you look for the number that will go into the numerator and denominators again. So four can go into itself one time, 12, so for 12, four can go into 12 three times. So therefore we can't reduce it anymore. So our final answer will be one third. For the third one, we have 16 over 24. Sometimes it's hard to find the largest number that can go into 16 and 24. Since they're both even numbers, we know they divide by two. So 16 divided by two will give you eight. And then 24 divided by two will give you 12. Now it's easier to see the biggest number that can go into both of them. Four goes into eight two times, and four goes into 12 three times. And therefore, this is our answer. With number four, it's hard to find the largest number that can go into both the numerator and the denominator. But I can see that four goes into both of them. So 36 divided by four gives you nine. And four goes into 48 12 times. And now we still have to divide it by three. So nine divided by three equals three. And then 12 divided by three equals four. And that's our final answer, three over four. There's a trick for number five. Since you have two zeros on top, we can cancel them with two zeros from the bottom. So therefore we have four over 20. And now four goes into itself once and goes into 25 times. So therefore it'll leave us with one over five. And now I'm gonna be showing you how to add three fractions. For the first question, we put a long line. And then we have to find our lowest common denominator. And so we look at the biggest number, which is eight, but three can't go into eight. So we move on to the next multiple of eight, which is 16. And still three can't go into 16. So we look at the next multiple, which is 24. And yes, 24 is our common denominator. So we do 24 divided by four, and that'll give you six. And then we do six times three, which will give you 18. And then you do plus sign right next to it. Then we do 24 divided by three, which will give you eight, and then we do eight times one, which will give you eight, and then you do a minus sign next to it. And then you do 24 divided by eight, that'll give you three, and then you do three times five, which will give you 15. So we do 18 plus eight, which will give you 26, and then we minus 15, and that'll give you 11 over 24, and you always wanna leave the common denominator the same. And then for our second question, we put, we put a long line. So we look at the biggest number, which is eight, 
and we see if two and four can go into eight. And yes, it can. So eight as our lowest common denominator. So we do eight divided by four, which will give you two times one, which will give you two. And then you do eight divided by two, which will give you four. And then you do four times one, which will give you four. And then you do eight divided by eight, which will give you one. And then you times it by six, which will give you six. And then you put an equal sign. And now we do 2 minus 4, which will give you negative 2. And then we add 6, which will give you 4. And now we can reduce by 4. So 4 divided by 4 gives you 1. And then you do 8 divided by 4, which will give you 2. And then our final answer will be 1 over 2. Thanks for watching. Please like subscribe and comment and I'll see you on my next video.